So this should be recording. Okay, this should be recording. So what I do is I will, you need an external hard drive of some okay. sort, or just a hard drive, even your home hard drive. I need to put all this information on your hard drive because I have thousands of songs. Okay, so I can buy one. You can buy this or you could just use, if you don't have one at home. I don't have one at home. Yeah, so I got this from Costco, um, but I would have... How big is it supposed to be? You need at least a terabyte. One, one terabyte. terabyte. Mm -hmm. At least. So at how least. many do you have in there? This is two, I believe. Two. So I'll get a two terabyte. But this is more... I have more on this than just Ableton stuff. I have like my own personal stuff and logic files. Well, and all I stuff. have also... Okay, cool. Well, I'll get a two terabyte only because I... I, I know that I don't want to be limited to memory. Right. So check this out. Usually, the bet my strategy is I'll um, I'll open uh, Planning Center. So this is the reason, like y your your songs are here, so you don't really need to text me because okay. I'm just going here via this process. So I'll go to Spanish Service. Okay. I'll go to this next weekend. And what I do is I drop down these arrows because I want to be able to see the beats per minute. Okay. Quickly. Right? Yes. So you got Won't Stop Now, 122, uh, Glory to Glory, 82, you know, Resurrecting, 148. Which you, which you multiply by two, right? In some of them. Like the 82? Yeah. It, well, this, if these songs already have built-in clicks, so I don't have to build them. So whatever they, they are is what they are. Oh. But I'm looking for the BPMs and I'm looking for the meter. Okay. So on this next window, so I'm going to open three windows. This third window is going to have my external hard drive with with a file that says clicks okay. and loops. This is what I'm going to give you whenever um, you get your stuff. Now what I would do is, have, is, is tell Nemo, can you order me a one terabyte external hard drive from... Uh, Amazon and just have him mail it to your house because oh. he has the budget for this. Oh, okay. Because this is going to be sixty or seventy bucks. Okay. okay. Um, but that's for only one terabyte. For one terabyte, I mean, it will probably be two. It'll probably be two for this. Was like sixty or seventy bucks for two. Oh. Okay. I'm you asked me what you need and you don't need to. But I know, but the thing is that might be I, I think I may have to purchase it because I I think I'm going to use it too personal personal stuff too. Whatever so you, I'll, I'll purchase it. It's not a big deal. Whatever you see fit. So check it out. Clicks okay. and Loops is going to have the file with every song that we do. And uh, I have a, I have a, my own click from Elevation. So if I have to build a click, it's located here. But all the songs um, are alphabetically In ordered order. right here. Okay. Right? So another thing that I'll give you is you need Live. I'm getting ready to upgrade Live to... Um, be and what just, is Live? Um, Ableton Live is oh. is just able. It's a form of Ableton. Okay. There's like Ableton Lite, which you don't want because you can't do what you need to do. And then what I do is I come here and I and I go open recent. I'm gonna give you this template. I have a starter template. It's called two. I've been using it since 2017. Okay. So when this opens, what is on this template is exactly what I said. It's a it's a template, right? So um, it has the click already labeled tracks. F effects, highs, mids, subs, percussion, infinite pad. This is what you guys use sometimes. This okay. is important because it has like a, a thing that helps the infinite pad okay. not cut off when you when you turn it off. It like okay. delays itself. So actually Nate Stewart built this for me like back in the day. Okay. Um, and then what I've been doing, um, I did this because of San Spanish service, but I should have been doing it the whole time, is I'll literally drop every instrument into these files right here. Okay. Um, and then the guide at the bottom. So this is how I separate it, just to look at it easy. And if if you are, if RJ is like, what is that noise? You know, that effect isn't loud enough or whatever. I can go straight to effects and have a starting point because that's where I left it. Oh. Now, if I just dropped everything at random, it'd take forever to find out what sound is coming from where. Okay. Right? So that's the first thing. I'm just, I'm just going over the template, right? So this orange right here means that this is live. Like it's going to, it's going to make noise, but these are unselected, which means they're muted. Okay. Right. So say like, if you're like, Hey, Andre, I'm in Spanish service and the bass player canceled. Okay. All you're going to do is just highlight the bass channel. Okay. Unmute it. Okay. You're going to unmute it. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's just a quick overview. I'll go over this in the sanctuary. This is, this is how I plug in the actual 
um, input instrument. In, no, the, the actual input sins okay. into the interface come okay. from from here. It, it sounds really complicated, but um, I'll show you that a little bit later. So, so here we are. What do we do once we're here? So what I do is um, is uh, okay. It opened a new window that I don't want. I don't want this window. I just want to be working with a, uh, this. So I say won't stop now. One twenty two four four four. So the first thing I do is I label this song rename. So I right clicked this, control, click, rename. Okay. Song one. Uh, what was it? Again? Won't stop. So I'll type in won't stop. I've been doing it in all caps too because it's easier to identify course, quickly if you're scrambling. And that said that it is at 122, 122 beats per minute, 4-4. Four, four. So right here you see that it's already in 4-4. Four, four. Okay. So all I want to do is okay. click on that awesome. and go 122, enter. Right? Once that's there, this little orange line moved up. This is very important. Okay. You got to you gotta click this line because it's going to give you a little dot right there. Because oh, I'm okay. gonna change, I'm gonna change the, the uh, time, the the time signatures and the beats per minute as the songs go on. So this is our starting point, 122. When I when I highlight it, it says 122, right? Okay. So now we're ready to drag and drop. I go here to the search bar. Won't, won't, won't stop now pops up. Won't stop now. Hallelujah. Here below is the album title. Okay. A 122 BPM. Very okay. So what's the difference between that won't stop in the bottom one. I think this is something that um, this is something that Jacob gave me. Okay. But things that come from multitracks.com, which okay. is what we use like ninety nine point nine percent of the time, are very hyper labeled. Okay. So let's say won't stop now. Hallelujah. Here below a one twenty two BPM. It's okay. like very very okay um, clean. It, it won't be right. just a little small title. Right. And then when you open it, you'll see um, you'll see how it says Ableton. There's an album cover that they that they make sure you're in the right song. Okay. Here's the you know it's, you'll know you're in the right place. So then I drop this down. This is the multi tracks, and then I just start dragging and dropping. A A G means acoustic guitar. So I just start with A, drag, and drop into the acoustic guitar channel. Now this is kind of hard to see. So right here, you see how this little circle came? Yeah. These are the intricacies of Ableton that make it kind of like you need to do so it I'm a lot. You're talking about this little. Black yeah, dot. you see how it's a speaker. Okay, now it's speaker a, now. It's so okay. if I click and go like this with my finger, it's zooming out. Okay. Into into larger. Um, yeah, graphics. Yeah. So and I want that because I want this acoustic guitar to stretch all the way over oh, here. See, okay, I haven't mislabeled. It. I'm in bass because I okay. didn't I didn't do it right. Okay. So I'll drag this up one to acoustic guitar. That's Perfect. muted. Okay. Right. So I just start dragging and dropping, dude. Bass. Bass, oh. <clears throat> um, background vocals we don't need. Click, we do want. Like no matter what happens, we're not gonna use background vocals, right? right? So click, I have up here in yellow. So I drop click up there. I'm gonna just minimize this okay. a little bit. So it doesn't sound that complicated. No, no, now, now I'm just dragging and dropping everything. And you can make this as simple or as complicated as you want. I'm just gonna show you what we normally do. Jacob Cruz, will label every section of the song. Okay. Like verses, choruses, bridges. That takes a long time, but it makes it very helpful for being very intentional with your rehearsing. Right. So you go, all right, pick it up from verse two. We do it wrong. Pick it up from verse two. Uh, we do it wrong. Okay. Pick it up from verse two. So if, if we're able to label them, right. it'd be to our benefit. Um, kind of. Okay. Because I, I map this out to the keyboard, uh -huh. and we don't, You'd have to either memorize and all the say. labeling or you walk over to the computer and, yeah. and type it in. Okay. So okay. for what we do, it's not super necessary. Okay. okay. Um, electric guitar one. So basically, it's like you have two screens right now with, with your Mac, right? Right. Mm -hmm. so you, okay. You're... So at home, I have a I have a that TV that right. I'll have like I'll have Planet Center on this one. And Ableton. Actually, I'll have Ableton on two up here. And okay. then I'll have my um, my hard drive file here. Okay. But it doesn't matter. I can sit here and, and just That's I have right. I have three windows open, and I can add as many as I want. But I only okay. want I only want Planet Center, Ableton, in my in my hard drive. Okay. So let me try to do this real quick. Um, electric guitar. Electric guitar. No, you can add 
any instrument that you think you're going to need. Right. But just in case, I've been adding all of them. Including because drums? Including drums. I added okay. drums. Okay. Okay. And I put this in alphabetical order so it's easier to drag and drop because they're, they're listing them in alphabetical okay. order. Okay. Super. Okay. So I put a guide and it says guide dynamic, right? Uh -huh. So you know what that is? Mm -hmm. I created my own guide. This was able. This was Ableton Multitracks guide, uh -huh. but I put my own one for this song won't stop now because of that false ending. That oh, counts in the yeah. doo -doo -doo -doo. right. So I made it say guitar two. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. That was like driving me nuts. It was wasting <laughs> rehearsal time. Okay. The guitar player never came in, and if you think about it, the band comes in and marks those chords too. Okay. So I created and that one extra thing on their guide and relabeled it and put it in here. Okay. Um. So keys, keys I use key, keys are usually a higher frequency, so I put place them in highs. In the high label. Okay. So keys one, and these are just different sounds and pads and whatever. And the, no, and I see, I see that there's many keys now. Do you load all the keys? I, in? I load all of them. Okay. Okay. Because they all are covering the totality of sound in the song. Right, right, right. So you're never gonna it doesn't matter how many keyboards you use, you're not gonna cover all this sound. Okay. And in the I, I even put the piano in there. So the piano's muted. Okay. But it's there for reference. So say like say say you're working with another piano player and you're not even serving and they're mm -hmm. not playing the parts. Right. You can just go to this and be like, listen, and you can solo this. This okay. S button means solo. Okay. So right now this would be the only thing playing. Um, let me see if this is working. Okay, so so when you're working at home, you need to go preferences and oh, it is built in. This should be working. Okay, C solo piano. Okay. Okay. All right. So piano strings. Strings are highs, in my opinion, but I ran out of slots, and it's not that serious, so I'm just going to put it in mids. Okay. But, okay, synth bass. Synth okay. bass will always go in subs. So I'm asking this, because mm -hmm. why do you have highs, mids, and lows? Okay, good question. Um, loop, loop, I, I just learned, is actually always percussion. Okay. So if I double click on this, it will show the the reading of it, and you could tell that it's very percussive. Okay. Okay. You know, um, but if you look at like the acoustic guitar or the bass, it's more it's more fluid. Okay. Um, okay. So the reason why I map these out highs, mids, and lows is because the interface we use has eight sins. Okay. One of them's click, one of them's guide. Uh, channel seven and eight are these go what I call ghost instruments, uh -huh. so instruments that we're probably not going to use. But if we if we need to add the second electric guitar, it'll go down these one of these channels, and then high percussion, mids, highs, and effects. That's a total of eight. So this allows RJ to use what he actually needs. Okay. But if they're mislabeled, he'll be hearing an effect and not be able to bring it down or turn it up according to the room. It's a mixing tool, mixing essentially. Tool. And, and that's why it sounds so good. Thing, interface thing. Right. But if we were just sending a wall of sound down the channel, then he has no... He has no control. He has no control. Okay, and he so needs control. <laughs> he needs in, 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 to be able to do it individually. Exactly. And mix the house correctly. Perfect. So sometimes okay. percussion is too hot. Sometimes subs is too low. You know, and he's able to make it work. Got it. So that's what the labeling is for. So now we have all these dropped... Um, and that that's going to be my other question because I, I know someone told me you can download multi-tracks through your even through your iPhone but it'll only be like left mono, and right left and right it'll be left it's and like, right okay, so, so like click and guide on one side everything else on the other and, yeah so it'd be like mm, I mean and we've really we've done that I mean we've done the, the like the poor man's version of mm -hmm. tracks I, I I did that for years but I mean we're blessed to have systems and right. and stuff and, and the people that actually do it. Because if I'm because sending... You, you can do a better mix you can do if you're mix. able to do each instrument or sound from right. the track. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, so it's pretty fun. And so, so what I do now from this point... So the song's there. It's all there. So what I do right now is I, I click on this and I hit Command D, which is stands for duplicate. And I duplicate the click track. 
this becomes my rescue now. Oh, so I do. Okay. I okay. duplicated the click right behind itself. Okay. And now I right control click on this area, add locator, and it's telling me, do you want to label it? I do. Rescue one, song one. Rescue right. song one is right there now, right? Okay. So um, I need an instrument, so I'm gonna run to the green room really quick because okay. I need to check the key of this of the of the song. Okay. So let me just run. So now, now what we do from this point forward what we'll do from this point forward is I go back here and I say okay they want to do won't stop now in A I know this is in A because that's how I it but I cross reference it go away we go it's in A okay. right. so that's good I know, and you know how to find keys okay, on yeah, your yeah. on your piano or whatever. So we, we need to confirm it. We confirm that it's the right thing because okay. if it's not. Because it's true. Sometimes PCO says it's on a certain key and it's really not. You always confirm it. I don't care what okay. happens. Okay. Because what happens if, if it's not? Then you're calling me, yeah. scrambling. I, this is in the wrong key. Okay. And it's like, shoot, I should have confirmed it. Um, so that's that. Um, well, that's, that's pretty Look, it, now, oh, zoom that's back a out. lot of information. That's a, just this that's, is a lot of information. That's okay. what I was trying to tell you. I'm recording this, okay. and we'll. I have to pick my daughter up at one fifteen. Okay. Um. So we have a, a good twenty minutes still, but I'm just gonna stop wherever we're at and and save that recording because okay, what you. I just said was a lot. That was a lot. So, but we're gonna add the rest of the songs. I'm gonna add one more key piece. There's two more really really big things that I didn't show you: how to change the key of a song, and how to add the next beats per minute. Oh, so check it out. So the next song I just put right next to this, and I say add locator, song two. It's not showing me because it's out of view, but Ableton is just not that easy to use, man. That's the bottom line. So it says song two, but I forgot what song two is. So song two is glory to glory. I can close this. I'm done with this song. Um, glory to glory is in F, not normally, but it is here. So 82 beats per minute, right? Right. Um, so I want, I want to relabel this correctly. Song to glory to glory, enter, right? Now this right here is a trick of making um, the beats per minute correctly. So we see here that it's 82 beats per minute. Right. So right here on this line, this is where the beats per minute exist, right? Um, we saw that over here. It's 122 up here is reading 122 as well, right? Because right. that's the last song. But now we need it to be an 82 beats per minute. So what I do is I'll go on this little white line, I'll click, and I'm going to drag to the right. And you see how it's highlighting right, black. Right, right, right. Now, without touching anything else, I'm going to go back up here. One time I'm going to click, I'm going to type in 82, but don't hit enter this time. Okay. This time I'm going to hit record. So I'm going to let it record for a second. I'll come down here and I'll hit the space bar. And now you'll see here that the beats per minute change. So it says 122, 122, but down here it says 82. Correct. So if you if I click on this little dot, it's gonna it's gonna remove itself. Okay. And if I click on that dot that's not needed, it's gonna remove itself. Now we're in 82 beats per minute starting at this point. Okay. That is very confusing. I understand that which is why I'm recording this. Okay. But now you can see that it's changed from here forward. Yeah. It's right. 82 beats 82. per minute, and now we can start drag dragging and dropping our song. Okay. Right? So, so I'll show you that again because we have two more songs to load. <laughs> so I'll say it again. <laughs> okay. Glory oh. to glory. I'm searching it. It showed up for a second and then left. Glory to glory, have it all. That's the album in the key of D. That's probably the one that we want. Right, multi tracks. Here's the album cover. Great album, by the way. And the Spanish version is amazing. With that right. album, so good. So bass is the first thing on there. I'm gonna start dragging and dropping. Uh, bass. So now you're gonna start dragging 
on the other side of the line. Right. I'm okay. just going to place it at the mark of song two. Right. Glory to glory. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, click and track is up here. Drums. This is stuff that we never use, but you don't want to need it and not have it. Right. So I just take the extra time to just drop it in. Highs, right? Highs. Right. Yeah. Percussion. Piano. All right. So here's the thing that I haven't shown you yet, and that's how to change this key, because I can guarantee this song is not in the key of that. All right. So I'm going to zoom this out. Do you want me to out. confirm with uh, the person that's going to need? No, what I'm saying is, is that the original song is not going to be enough. Okay. So it just said on the labeling of this that it's in D. It's in D. That's the original right? key. Right. Right. D. So so what I gotta do is play one, this and make sure that this two, is in D. One, two, three, four. Okay, so. Yeah, it's a D, right? right? Verse. Right, so it's in D. So if I need it in F, um, it's easier to invert to F than it is to downvert down to F. If I go down, I'm going like, I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine half steps down. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to go from here and go one, two, three half steps up. Okay. So these Verse. increments are in half steps, okay. not whole steps. Okay, of course. Right? Like so, you can't. You can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I understand. So to change the key of a song, it needs to be playing like it is. Uh -huh. So the song's playing. How do you play the song? You just you click One, on this or you just click anywhere two. in here and it'll start space it'll start playing. But what you gotta do is you gotta hit the command button. In Apple it's command. So command highlight. Chorus. And you can see that it highlighted by this section over here. I go to the next instrument, command. I haven't let my finger off command by okay. the way. I've left my finger. Command. Oh shoot, I should have left my finger, sorry. So uh, let, me, let me highlight this. All right, so command highlight, command highlight. You see how they're kind of like a black line? It's really hard to see. Command. <laughs> All right. Command highlight, command highlight. What is this doing? Why is it asking me to change the color? Okay, I am letting my finger off the command button. So command, 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 command. So all of these tracks are now highlighted. What I did not, they're all highlighted. Okay. They're all selected. Okay. What I did not select is the click, and what I did not select is the guide. Okay. Because we don't want to change this. We don't want to change the tonality. Now we said, Bridge. You, now that these are highlighted, you come down to this section right here. Okay, this section right here, forward. and you're going to say warp. We want to warp this track. Then you're going to come down here to where it says beats, and you're going to select complex. Oh complex is selected. Then you come over here, and you drag this up three half three steps. Half steps. Okay. So it's going to go, the dial is going to go to the right, going up to the left, going down. Okay. So I'm going to drag, go up three half steps. Three. Okay. So this should be... In F now. Yep. Okay. So now. Okay. That's it. That's okay. it. So when that's done, I click here, hit stop. And that's it. So this is this is transposed now. Three half steps higher to okay. F. Right? So technically that's it for this song. I, do, I click on this. Command D for duplicate. That gives me another click. I do another... Uh, marker or locator is called and okay. I say rescue two. We have now accomplished two songs <laughs> okay. of the four. Questions up until this point. Um, okay, so 
Oh, this is the the, the rescue track. This is the rescue. This and track. This we is the have, rescue track. We have. Okay, so we're gonna do the rescue track now on for this song, right? I just did it. I okay. I hit this and I hit Command D, which is duplicate, and it okay. duplicated another click track right, right behind it. I get it. I get it. So these are these are highlighted. I mean, these are up here because they're on the highs. Right. Because they're keys. Right. The other. So all meant, this stuff, okay. all this section is is all highs. So this is basically one song after another. Song one, rescue. Song two, rescue. Perfect. And they're yeah. all going to be aligned. So now the next song is me. Song three, okay. and the rescue. No, um, well, there's many more questions, but I, I guess I just have to go through. I mean, I don't know. Other than building a click because it doesn't exist, that's really the only thing I haven't shown you. And there's one final process where I, I'm going to label these to the keyboard so mm -hmm. that the keyboard reads it. Okay. But uh, that's that's usually the last step because I haven't, haven't built the whole thing yet. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to build the next song. And usually you try to build it on this on a line, right? So like you see this little line right here? Okay. If you put this little speaker system over the line and hit control mouse, it's just, it's just control click and uh -huh. it gives you options. I want to add a locator. Okay. Um, Keep forgetting to look at the song before I start typing. Is it yeah. um, resurrecting? So here's the thing: is all these songs that we're doing this Sunday are in four four. But let's say if it wasn't, say if okay. it was in three four, what you would do to change the time signature is here's the arrow that you just right right clicked okay. for this song. You go above that arrow in this space, and you right click again, and it'll say um, insert time signature change. Okay. You go here and you just type it in three four enter and now just change the time signature okay. from this point okay. forward okay. now if you go from here to a song that's in 4-4 and don't change the signature it's going to mess it up and you won't notice it until you try to change the key of the song okay. so if you just drop a song in there in a bad time to signature it doesn't really matter but if you try to warp it it'll warp it at a different rate and be crazy oh okay so this is telling it at what signature to warp the song in okay <laughs> um, okay, so that arises a question. Um, what is warp? Warp is basically saying that's what we did. Um, that's what we did to this song to yeah. change it from D to F. We warped it into F. Okay, it's basically modulating. Modulating. Mm -hmm. Okay, another word for modulating. No, no, no. It's the it's this verbiage for modulating. Right. Yeah. Okay, so okay. we don't want three four. So I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that map or delete. And or change it back to 4-4. Four, four. Exactly. Edit time signature. We'll say that. So 4-4. Four, four, enter. We're back. So song 3 is um, resurrecting. So I wanted to say, I wanted to be labeled very clear. So song 3. Resurrecting. That's not good. How did that just fail? Right. Um, it seemed causing advantage, which is good. I spelled it all wrong, but you know what I was trying to say. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. um, so I just type in res. Is it one S or two? It's one. Resurrecting here as in heaven album. Okay. And for some reason, back in this time, when you buy tracks, you can buy them in multiple keys. Okay. But you have to wait to download it, and it takes up twice as right. much space. Well, you can always change the key yourself, right? right? Like warping and transposing. But I wasn't thinking that back oh, in the so day. You that it we twice? Were, so I bought it because I was like, we'll probably do it in this, we'll probably okay. do it in that. And it just, it'll save me that amount of time of not having to warp it. Okay. But in the long run, it's not, it's not oh, really worth it. Of course. It doesn't cost anymore. They give you access to as many keys as you want. But, oh, okay, cool. Um, so resurrecting is in the key of C at 148.44, right? So how do we change the time, the uh, the BPMs? We click here on this line and we drag over. Yes. We come up to here, type in 144, was it? 144. Was right? it 144? Um, here, I'll, I'll go to time. And I didn't hit enter. It's very important that you don't hit enter. Okay. Because if you do, it's going to raise this whole line up. So 144. You want to hit record. Oh, okay. Record, and then I stop recording, and you'll see that it made the adjustment. So I so I delete these little white marks out of here. So let's see if I was in the right key. 148. Oh, shoot. I have a so let's say you messed that up, which I did. Um, I'm just going to click this, 
okay. start over again. So on this line, I'm going to drag over, type in 148, and record, record, let it go a little bit, spacebar to stop it, you delete the markers that you don't want, voila, we're at 148. 148, we'll start dragging and dropping the song. Um, let's see, here's in heaven, resurrecting, double click, multi-tracks, acoustic guitar, start dragging the instruments. <clears throat> I'm going to need all the, the guitars, because I, I have no guitars. Like electric or acoustic, you mean? <clears throat> I have no electric, for sure. As of today. See if I have... Uh, actually, they will have acoustic. This one has a cello. That's fun. Nice. Cello, I, I usually put in mids. It's like a mid-sounding okay. instrument. You kind of just, like, tell yourself. Click. The click goes. Drums. Where is stated? Drums. You got to do instrument by instrument, right? Do you instrument can't do, like, two at a time. Or... Nope. Okay. Yeah, right, yeah. If there's a way, I don't know how to do it. I'm going to try something on this, too, just to kind of show you how to do something else. So you know how sometimes, like, RJ will say... <clears throat> Actually, I'll show you that when I'm done. Dragging and dropping on this. Electric guitar 2. Guitar 2. Electric guitar 3. a whole lot of electric Um, electric guitar 4, which is good because I think I'm not on electric guitar. Is that the guide. No, that's your guide. Uh, right? No, I don't usually create my own guide very often. That's okay. not. This is their guide. Wrist. Type in wrist. Um, keys are, I, I usually place all in the highs, right? Mm -hmm. So I do the mess with. You see spit. Big song, big fire. Keys. Three. Loop is always percussion, but I labeled it loop now. So okay. I labeled one percussion and one loop. So as it's labeled, I just drop it that way. I tried to, like, what they use most in their verbiage is what I try to label it in the template. <clears throat> piano. Okay, piano. And then. Tambourine is a percussion instrument that I, I'll put in the percussion file. Right? So yes. there we are. These are all muted. So say on Sunday, you're like, we need electric guitars. All you do is you just unmute them. Okay. By highlighting them, essentially. But I'm okay. going to leave them muted in case somebody does come and play electric guitar. But if they don't, you come right here and you just un you just click it. And it sends it live now to the channel. I don't want to do that just yet. Okay, I'll do it before. Okay. Before. <laughs> well, how about this? I'm gonna highlight them. Okay. And if somebody shows up, you un highlight them. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this will be like the computer up up on stage will be open to that. Yeah. So when I'm done with all this, I uh -huh. save it. Okay. Onto here, I walk this in there, okay. and I drop and it in there. Drop it in there. And then I reopen it. Okay. And then when I reopen it, that's a whole other process because then I have to then you have to patch it to the interface. That's the part that I'm not going to talk about today. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just going to only do Ableton. So one thing that I didn't show you, but RJ, you, you'll say, RJ, say, it'll say like this track isn't hot enough or it's too hot or whatever. How you adjust that is say it's drums. Drums are too hot, which we don't use. I'm just using this example because I don't even use it. You come here and it, here's the decibels. It's, it's always set originally at zero. So I can increase it, hotter or colder. So I'm dragging this little arrow right here. And right. that's for the volume. This is for the volume output. Okay. Okay. And you can see it. You can see it reading yeah. like that's. And, and crazy. you want it. And you want it, uh, like middle. Like. Well, it comes. It come. Its starting point is at zero. So if I click on any of these, it's going to say zero. Okay. This is strictly. Uh, the last weekend was a perfect example. For some reason, all of the songs read the same width. Okay. So they looked even, but RJ's like for some song reason song one is not hot enough. I so I had see. to go and select every I single song, kind of like how I warp, how you warp it. You could do the same thing. Like you can select all of them at the same time and increase the volume all at the same time. Okay. okay. So, so this song is here resurrecting, but what key is it in? It is in 
C, right? And did I drag it from C? Doesn't matter because I'm going to check it anyways, <laughs> right? Right. How you check it? You just play it. One, two, one, two, three, four. Mm, that's what sounds like. Go here. Interlude. Yeah, listen C. Awesome. Verse. Okay. Listen C. Okay. So that's good. I don't have to do anything. Let's say if I had to increase the volume, that command select, I could select all of these, come down here, and increase the volume. And it will raise everything up. The thing you got to do when you're doing warping of keys or volume is you never touch the click and you never touch the guy. Okay. We don't want that volume to change. We don't want it to be warped or okay. it just be weird. So how do you highlight? Chorus. So you, you would go, you click on the first one, uh -huh. then the one after it, you go command, 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 command okay. and you just, you just highlight all okay. of them. Okay, all of them. Okay, right. okay, okay. Got it. So now that this song is done, the next thing we do is we create the... The, the um, rescue click by duplicating the click. Command D. Duplicate. Yeah, no. Then again, you have years of experience working. That's why when this. people ask me, like, can you show me? I'm like, I'd rather just do it myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it takes a lot of time. But I don't think that's longevity. I have to be here in order for somebody to work. And that's not healthy. So rescue three. And then we have one more song. I'm just talking about that. Two minutes. One more song. I'm gonna try to drop this last song. Um, so we go over here and we do add locator. Song four is. Do you know off the top of your head what it is? Oh, you right now. No. Oh, someone's calling me. I don't even talk to them. I don't know who they are. Yeah. Uh, song four is promises. Promises yeah. never fail. In what key? D. In D. So we'll say uh, promises. Like that, the, the signature doesn't change, we're still in 4.4. Four. Um, 73 BPMs, we do that by dragging. Coming up here, I said 74 or 73? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 73. 73, we type in, we don't hit enter, but we do hit record. It starts recording, you can see it, you can see it down here recording. Spacebar, get rid of the circles you don't want, it's in okay. 73. Come here to our hard drive, Promises, here it is, it's on the, Vic the Victory album in E flat, 73 BPM, acoustic guitar, start dragging and dropping your stuff in there, boom, there's another, there's two acoustic guitars, there's three acoustic guitars, what the heck, okay, so since there's so many acoustic guitars, I'm going to duplicate this channel, okay, so control, right click, Duplicate. It gives me another acoustic. And okay. I'm gonna do that again. Duplicate, but it just copied these channels, these that I don't want. So I'm okay. gonna get rid of those acoustic guitars. I'm gonna add the new ones. I don't know why it's song these three acoustic guitars, but it does have it. I just doing this to show you how to duplicate files too. Okay. Um, acoustic three, I think it was it. Yep. So here's three separate acoustic guitars, and they probably, I mean, they are different. Um, and then drop the bass, bass under bass. Now sometimes a song, like Glory the Glory, does not have a bass, but it does have a synth bass because it's like a move. Right, right. So if it's a move, I don't put it in bass, I put it in subs. Okay. Because RJ will use that. Okay. He'll so use that move, 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 you know, okay. and we want him to be able to do that and not have it, have it, the song covered by only the bass player because it mm. won't have the right, uh, totality of some um, approach so click click track um, guide click um, drums electric guitar one Two, all this, all the guitars are unmuted right now um, because we don't have a guitar player as of right now. So those will all play. Keys. Keys are going to highs. Keys going to highs. 
you have any questions for me while this is recording? Because I think it's picking up our voice. <clears throat> loop will be percussion, but it's like a loop. No, bro. Honestly, I. It's it's repetitive. It's everything repetitive. that you're doing. So I, I think when I get the software, mm -hmm. start playing with it. Mm -hmm. Just start building things, right. and goofing off with it. Ooze, it goes ooh. Okay. Ooh. Like right at the top. Those. Do you those, use those? Um, those are first of all, I categorize them in effects. Uh huh. Because RJ can choose to use them or not, but I actually don't like that. Ooh, the first okay. one. I like the second one because the band is in. Okay. And it's not in your face. Okay. But the first one is like only quiet and heavy okay. ooh. Okay. So what I normally do is I'll, I'll, I'll select the area. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. And I'll just delete it. So this shows me that I only deleted to there, so I need to delete more. So let me delete here. See, it deleted as far as there. So okay. I just cut out the first batch of ooze. Okay. And that's just particular to the song. So okay. if you're listening to the song and rehearsing to it, you'll know what you don't want and what you do. Okay. There's two percussions. In this. You're obviously not removing them from the multi-tracks. You're modifying it through Ableton. I'm modifying it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you have to know what you want to sound like, which okay. takes a little bit of studying or experience. We've done so many times, I already know what I don't want and what I do want. Piano, okay, that's it. Next thing we do is duplicate the uh, rescue. And label it. Right click, add locator, rescue four. Um, Okay, but we also did not check to see if Promises was in the right key. So Promises says it's in the key of D. I think it's E flat, naturally. So this is probably an E flat. And I'll just click somewhere. I can hear it. It goes, yeah. Yeah, it is. So it's in E flat. We want to take it down. Wait, no, up a half step. Ending. Right? To go to D. No, down one. Down. So down one half down step. Down one half step. So, so I'll zoom out so I can see everything clear. And I'll just click here. Right click, 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 never died. Never died or click. Work. Complex. Down a half step. Negative okay. one is down one half step. That should be in D. Okay. It's in D. It's solo. That's it. So when this is all done, I have my rescue click here. I have all my things labeled. Everything's in the right key. I come in this area and I zoom it out so I can kind of look at all the songs. Okay. Yeah, they all look they all look good. Now what I do is I come down to this master triangle and I push this little triangle because it's going to close this bar here. I don't want to accidentally touch this for any reason and change the BPM. Okay. So if, if these you, if, if these BPMs get changed, all the song keys get changed with it. Oh, dang. Like they're like, oh, you know, okay. it's going off of BPM. So so as a fail safe, I click this just to close that out. Okay. So this is just a drop down bar basically, okay. right? So I close it. Then what I do is this up here allows me to MIDI assign the keys to control that that's how the drummer controls the tracks so this is a MIDI control you, you just click keys and then you punch in you I say this right here I clicked on that I want to be controlled by Q uh, by one because on the drummers keypad it's, it's one to start one. the song yes, yes. and then the rescue is always the letter beneath the rescue number so song one's rescue is Q Song two is just two. Oh, okay. The rescue is W. Song three is three. The rescue is E. Oh, is E. And the song four is four. And the rescue is R. And once that's all keyed, ah, okay. then I hit the key button again. You'll see how everything is highlighted orange in these weird areas. If I hit key again, all that goes away. It's ready. So how... <laughs> What I didn't do from the very, very beginning, the first thing I should have did is I should have saved this as something. Because right now, I'm still, I'm still as a template. Oh. And I do not want to save a new template. I want my template to stay the template and the okay. new thing to be the new thing. So, so this so is, now what? So I label this November 3rd uh, Spanish service. 
So you can label it whatever you want to just reference it. Okay. But I'll say save life set as uh, November 3rd Spanish. Done. But I don't want it to save where the template is. I want to save it to this external hard drive that I labeled Epic Batman Space with a little with a little <laughs> with a little figurine. So I'm gonna okay. highlight this. <laughs> Whatever your hard drive is labeled is where you're saving it. Yes. Okay. So I'm hitting save. Now you go up here and it says November third Spanish service, right? So Apple S or however you want to save, this is all saving. But you would like to think that that's it, but it's not it. After it's saved that way, you got to save it a whole separate way where it's going to drop all these files into the file. Okay. So this is saved. It's saved oh. as Spanish, but what you got to do is you got to come back up to file. You hit that and you say, uh, collect all and save. This is super important. If you don't do this, everything you just did is a waste of time. Collect all and save. I'm going to click that and it's going to say, do you want to have all these things copied? And they're all highlighted. Yes. And I hit OK. Now you're going to see the file start to actually transfer over to the hard drive. Okay. So I have to wait here for a second until it's done. How long does it usually take? Uh, two minutes? Not even. It's probably going to take 30 seconds. You see I'm dropping. It's going to my hard drive. Label November 3rd, Spanish server. And that's all we're doing today, man. <laughs> that's enough, isn't it? That's, That's essentially it. The only thing I, I didn't show you today, Julio, mm -hmm. is how to map it to the computer out there, okay. which is not going to take very long. All you do is just con connect your hard drive into it and... Drop it, mm -hmm. unconnect the drive, so it's not reading from your drive, because you don't want it to read from your drive. Oh. You want it to be... And I'll delete whatever was previously... So in other words, you're going to drop it. Is there a lot of memory on that? There is a lot of memory on it, but I never keep anything on that computer. Ah, like so, every time I'm done using it, I'll delete, delete it. it. Okay. And the only thing existing on that computer is the interface program in Ableton. Mm -hmm. So an entire computer is operating two files. Okay. And we okay. do that and we put a hard drive in it so it's not spinning on a disk because okay. we don't want it corrupting during service. Okay. Installing or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's very high. It looks like an old computer, but it's actually highly functional. Okay. So now. So this is done. It's done dropping. So now I can, I can quit. I can quit live. We're done with this. And I go to my space, it should be labeled as November 3rd Spanish. Okay. I drop that, and here it is. Multi uh, on a. I don't know where the project info is, but we'll do that another time. So, so basically, my file is right here for okay. that service. Cool. Yeah. Well, okay, man. It's a lot. That's but guess what I just did? I just recorded.